Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and today um, we're going to talk about what I wish I would have known before I went to college. Um, and this is kind of like the young mom version of it because I actually went to college and I was I got pregnant right when I got to college and then had my baby when I was in my third semester. So um, most of the time I was a mother and pregnant. So um, I only had one semester where I was just not pregnant and not a mom. So this is kind of like the version that I want to give you. This is also something that I enjoy telling because um, I know that it's just not going, it's not easy going through college, like, I don't know how it is in other countries, but I know that in Germany, um, it's just really hard, and um, I know that when I started and with my college class, or when I started college, um, more than half of the people that started with me, like, they just quit, because um, A, they didn't like math, <laughs> B, um, because some of them have just said like, okay, like, just no, that's too much. Like, I just don't want to do it, or I failed, or something like that. Because, um, of course, you always have to like, like the thing you do. So if you don't do it, just quit. And, like, no one's like gonna judge you for it. Because like, just it doesn't make sense then. But if it's too hard, that's a different kind of thing. And this is why I want to give you advice on how to handle things in college and not to be too overwhelmed. So I'm going to start with the first thing. So the first thing that I wish I would have known before I went to college is that you won't, you just won't spend your entire life being in college. Um, and what I mean by that, I mean you know that you won't. Um, you know that there's a certain time that you're going to go to college, but when you are in college and you have your exams and it's just hard and then sometimes you're like oh my gosh like I don't know how I'm gonna do it I don't know if I have the energy I don't know if I have um, the intellect the capacity whatever it is to make it through and then you'd be like it's never gonna end it's never gonna end. and honestly I've been in the same situation um, when I was I think it was like in my third or fourth semester where I was like, I am never gonna do it, like never. And it was because um, I was a mother, so I don't know if it would have happened the same way if I didn't have my daughter, I cannot say that. I can just say what I've experienced. So um, she was little, she was a baby. So I was up all night, no, not up all night, but like I was up just basically until like 5 a.m. every night. Cause like her sleep schedule was messed up and whenever she was hungry, you know, was breastfeeding for 14 months. So, or for 14 months. So it's been just hard, you know, having like a good night that will actually recover you or gives you enough energy. So I was just like at this point where it's like, how am I ever gonna handle all this? And honestly, the thing that helped me is, first of all, um, I took extra semesters because I couldn't do it. It was just like, no. Basically, my partner was working a lot, mostly. I mean, he was helping me whenever he was there. I'm not saying that he didn't help me. I'm just saying that I was alone with my daughter most of the time. And I also had my college in um, a, a like, freaking household. I We had a two-story home. Um, with a large freaking, or like with a big, big backyard. And my family was living like half an hour away from us. Like it was just crazy. Like this time was crazy. So I was just on my own and was like, I'm never going to do, I'm never going to do. And I did not see the end. I was just like in the middle of it. I was just like, no, actually at the beginning. Um, I was like, I'm never gonna do it. Like, I have so many exams. And then I have started something. That's gonna be my second tip. Um, but after that, I was just like, okay, go step by step by step by step. And then I was just pushing through and it all, like, ended. Although, at this beginning of it, I thought, like, it's never gonna end. I will always stay in college. I will never graduate. I will fail. Those were my thoughts. 
and honestly i just felt it like that way i was so depressed because it was just like i could not it was just way too overwhelming um so you just have to push through it and it's it's gonna stop you just have to go step by step and then we're gonna go to my next tip um i know that i haven't done that i don't know if other like college students do that but i kind of like made a roadmap um of like what exams i would still have to write and i started this roadmap i think in third or fourth semester when i was like so depressed i took a piece of paper and i wrote down every single like exam that i or like yeah exam or um essay or whatever just everything that i would need to get done before i can graduate or before i graduate and i wrote down every single class and I made like a little checkbox in front of it and um, I still have this paper and I'm never going to throw it away because that paper just was everything because I knew okay this semester one two three checked it off and then the next semester one two three four five or whatever how many like exams are like took that semester and it was kind of like a to-do list and like a long run and um I remember looking at it and I didn't, at a time where everything was kind of like good, everything was going better, um, I didn't really like focus on the paper, but I was just still checking off the like check boxes and like, so yeah, I did this exam, did that exam. And then um, I think it was like in like um, one of my last semesters where I was like looking at it, I was just like, how I did it, like how did I do it? That's crazy, like, how did it come, how did I come so far? I couldn't believe it, I was just like, yeah, because I was just focusing on each semester and each, like, exam instead of just looking at the whole thing. So just make yourself a roadmap and just chill, like, get, like, yourself some milestones, like, just do a freaking roadmap, like, this semester, I want to finish three, four, five exams. I personally had five exams each semester, but at the beginning when my daughter was born, I only took three. Because I was like, no, that's way too much. But then at the end of it, I even took like six or seven. So, yeah. But um, then I just, I don't know, I made myself some milestones, like a roadmap where I knew like, okay, if this semester I focus on that, and then I'm going to go next, like, we're gonna go over to the next chapter, you know, and at the end of it, I just made it. So, um, and then the third thing I really wanna say is that um, use technology. Um, you have um, just, I don't know, in general, like your notes. I'm a person, I love to write, so just try to like use any kind of technology. If it is your phone, your iPad, your Android pad, your just, macbook your laptop who like whatever just use technology to write down everything and put it in the cloud just upload it to a cloud system i personally use icloud for that or dropbox um just use or um, um what it's called onedrive um because imagine um you would lose one of your notes it's gonna be a whole mess and um in college um i mean i had like really nice students with me um but still not all of them are like yeah sure i'm gonna help you whatever um because in college i feel like it's like a lot of competition i don't know where that comes from um but um you have or like you are responsible for your own notes like you can't just be like oh i've like lost that note please you know my neighbor can you can you give me your notes like that's it's pretty rare that that's going to happen, so make sure you have everything in, like, uploaded to a cloud so that nothing can happen to it and you're just, like, relaxed. You don't have to worry about your notes getting lost. The fourth tip. So the fourth tip I have is um, whenever you're studying, um, you have, I personally had, like, stacks and stacks and stacks of paper. Stacks of notes, stacks of, like, um, scripts that they gave us. What I did was... I actually, um, especially for like exams where you have to like, where you know the like main information that you need to know, I just took one piece of paper, like um, an A4 sheet, and um, I made like little like 
squares squares in it and i was just like writing like really really small but i wrote down all the different topics and all the different information that was like the that were like the key information kind of things that they would definitely that you would definitely need to know to pass the exam and the reason that i did that was because if you have stacks of notes that you need to read and read and read and remember it's just really hard um because it's just first of all it's overwhelming second of all it's just way too much and your brain um will mo most likely just remember what it has seen at like once and it's easier for your brain to like remember when you just have one piece of paper with all the information that you read over and read over i mean you can still read all the different other notes but for the main part um, especially right before the exam or like the night before or whatever just focus on this one piece of paper with the most important information on it if you know this everything else is additional but just know the key things on one piece of paper so that was a very good strategy to go through my exams because I knew that I needed to put my information in one place and this is also something that when you are a young mother or yeah you're a mother in college it doesn't even matter your age but like if you are a mother in like college you don't have that much time to like focus on this stack of information but you can at least one hour a night focus on this one piece of paper with the most important information and everything else is additional so that's that's one of my biggest tips do that it's gonna help you um i promise you all the most important information in little squares on one piece of paper and that's gonna help you let me I, I, I promise you that's gonna help you and then my fifth tip is um, whenever you start going to college if you are a young mom or if you are a mom or if you are just a regular student um, you have like a plan of which classes at least in Germany. I mean, you still have some that you can like choose from, but um, the ones that are set, just look at which ones you have in each semester. And then before that, get your information straight. Like know what is gonna be a part of this, what kind of information they wanna teach you, what this whole topic is about, so that you do have some background knowledge before you actually go to class. Cause that's gonna help you um, you know connect the dots basically you'll be like okay this is gonna be about like maybe like a programming class about um, JavaScript or JavaScript um, and you'll be like oh I've never heard of JavaScript before and you're gonna go online on YouTube where you read some stuff like um, JavaScript for beginners like what is JavaScript why is it different from Java why is it different from this and the programming language just get yourself some information so that it's easier for you to understand what they're saying um so it's going to help you connect the dots early and if you start actually understanding it before there is an exam because you most likely have a couple of months before you have an exam to understand everything um, it's going to make it much easier for you to study for the exam and then to write the exam because the thoughts are already connected in your brain you know what this is about and you can understand it and have the natural understanding of the things and um, it's just easier for you to remember and recall the information you've just learned so my sixth tip is just focus on yourself um, and make yourself independent okay um especially in college i mean i had a friend we're still friends um and we were just like an amazing team but she was or is one of the nicest and most reliable persons or like people that i've ever met and honestly i'm pretty sure that not everyone has that kind of like students with them in college i have i know a couple of girls that have been in college and were like I won't give out my notes to anyone else or they said that other girls said that to them because they don't want other people to succeed I personally am not like that I would just say like okay you know I'm gonna help you I'm gonna give you my notes whatever because it's just your brain is the one that does the work not your freaking notes but whatever um, 
but yeah so um you cannot count on other people you can't be like oh today i'm not gonna go to college like i'm not gonna go to class because i just don't feel like it um you know my neighbor will give me the notes anyways um first of all it's hard to understand other people's notes and second of all you don't know if they would actually give you all of them or if you give them if you they would give you like their notes like maybe they won't give you anything so just make sure to be independent in college and i'm going to tell you how that works um if you have online classes always attend and maybe like um i know you're not allowed to share them but like record them so you can like actually look over them again um that's a huge tip um but if you have in-person classes go there just go there if you even if you don't feel like it just go and um maybe you can even like um so maybe record your professors like talking or whatever or you just um what I did, I was just like writing um, everything down that I've said. Um, just make notes and be there, be present and actually just pay attention. If you don't pay attention, you could just, might as well, you might as well just stay at home. Um, paying attention and just writing down your notes. And if your class is over, go get yourself a coffee, go get yourself some whatever. But in class, be present and um, just listen and take your notes and actually recall what they've said because like if you just even miss one class um that's life-changing because in college classes are really long like two hours or something um most likely and even longer sometimes um and you will like miss a lot of information and that's gonna like that's gonna create a gap in the information that you need to know and then you'll be like oh yeah I remember in your exam like hmm oh i don't remember this one yeah because you haven't been there so just make sure to be independent to don't depend on other students um make sure you are going there you know the information if you have questions go and ask try to maybe um you know find some supporting groups like support groups like you know some people that know math very well if you have struggles doing that and ask them about like oh i don't know how to do this and do that well oh, help me blah blah um so try to be independent. Um, this is one of my biggest tips because you should not depend on anyone in college. Everyone's a lone survivor and you should also be a lone survivor because depending on people, especially when it comes to your future, especially when it comes to your future, just don't do it. It's just, it's never gonna work out. And then the seventh tip, which is gonna be my last tip, is that um, you have to, like, and this is especially very important for young moms or moms in general i just continue saying young moms because it doesn't matter there's even like older moms in college but yeah for you as a mom in college um if you are um just just schedule and be like okay my kid is just taking a nap um and these hours know your tasks just be like okay um i don't really have an essay or whatever to write but i'm gonna look through um my lectures that i, that I had yesterday or just know like have like a schedule and just always continuously do something and just don't be like oh i'm i would rather take a nap or i would rather like do this and do that and then um, at the end of the semester you have to recall the entire information and then you just don't have the time for it and it's just stressful and then your brain blocks and you can't get all the information in so just don't procrastinate just do stuff whenever you can and um, just fill in the gaps that you have throughout the day. I know this is hard, but let me tell you, I've been doing my college work when my daughter was sleeping and that was at night. Not at the beginning because she was awake at night, but um, when she was a little bit older, like maybe a year or two years, I spent the night doing my homework. I spent the time at college my breaks doing homework I spent the time that I would have spent with my friends or with whatever doing whatever with my college work and not for a couple of years and when I went out of college when I graduated I felt ugly AF I felt miserable because I didn't have any time for myself I felt as if everything that I basically like, um, how do you call it, that I've um, 
identify it with was gone which is stupid but yeah that's what happens when you have to focus on your child and then on college and you don't have anything else um, especially no time for yourself because then you forget who you are you forget how to define yourself because those are the things that you do in life but that is how it is if you don't focus on your child and then on college but focus on like going out with friends all the time it's not gonna work you have to be dedicated you need to dedicate your time to these two things this is your life now if you're done with college and I can tell you that you have so much time and you feel so good and then apparently you start working but then you have a set schedule, right? You go there on days, you don't have to like work at nine anymore. It's getting better, so believe me, just believe. So this was it for my video. I hope that my seven tips <laughs> have helped you or will help you in the future. Um, this is what I've learned in college and honestly, these are the best tips that I can give you. Um, and that's all I have to say. So thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to turn the bell notification on. So you'll never ever miss one of my future videos. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.